in this video we will find the derivative of the function by first principle so the given function is f of x is equal to square root of x so first of all let y is equal to f of x so if there is a small change in x then there will be a small change in y and the small change is del delta x so we will add delta x to x and then we will add delta y to y so we have y plus delta y is equal to f of x plus delta x so this delta y can be written as f of x plus delta x minus y and then we can put f of x in place of y so delta y is equal to f of x plus delta x minus f of x now my first first principle the definition of the derivative is dy by dx is equal to limit delta x approaches to zero delta y upon delta x so we have limit delta x tends to zero and in place of delta y we will put this value so we have f of x plus delta x minus f of x upon delta x now the function is f of x is equal to square root of x so f of x plus delta x is equal to square root of x plus delta x because we can see that we have x plus del delta x in place of this x so we will put x plus delta x over here and then minus f of x so f of x is square root of x upon delta x now we multiply this fraction by square root of x plus delta x plus square root of x and divided by square root of x plus delta x plus square root of x now we multiply this factor and this factor and we can apply the formula a square a minus b multiply by a plus b which is a square minus b square so this will become the square of the square root of x plus delta x minus the square of the square root of x upon delta x multiply by x plus delta x plus the square root of x we can multiply the denominators and we have this thing now we can cancel this square root and square so we have x plus delta x and again we can cancel this square root and square so we have minus x upon delta x multiply by square root of x plus delta x plus square root of x now x minus x is 0 so we have limit delta x approaches to 0 delta x upon delta x multiply by square root of x plus delta x plus square root of x now we can cancel this delta x and delta x so we have limit delta x approaches to 0 1 upon square root of x plus delta x plus square root of x now we can put we can apply limit on this function and we will simply put zero in place of delta x so we have 1 upon square root of x plus 0 plus square root of x so we have 1 upon square root of x plus square root of x which is equal to 1 upon 2 square root of x 
so the derivative of square root of x is 1 upon 2 square root of x by first principle.